We are all intimately aware of the rapid advancements in technology that have occurred over the past 20 years. Most of us carry devices in our pockets that would have looked like science fiction a couple of decades ago, but the developments we've seen in recent years only hint at what is to come. We are in the midst of a dramatic technological revolution, with multiple exponential technologies mutually reinforcing one another. This revolution will be far more significant than the industrial revolutions of the 18th and 19th centuries, and it will occur over the course of a few decades, not centuries. The exponential rise in computational power, coupled with similar increases in data harvesting technologies and rapid advancements in the field of artificial intelligence, lay at the heart of this revolution and have the capacity to transform our world in ways few of us can begin to imagine. Artificially intelligent deep learning systems are increasingly capable of outperforming humans in a wide and ever-expanding variety of tasks. Developments in natural language processing and voice recognition mean that these systems can interact with people in ways that are almost indistinguishable from flesh and blood humans. Advances in image recognition mean that these systems have the capacity to interpret the world around them and outperform humans at even highly skilled tasks such as radiological diagnosis and the identification of cancerous tumours. Multi-layered neural networks, modelled on the way our brains process data, allow these systems to interact with novel environments and successfully navigate situations that they have not previously encountered. Self-driving cars are the perfect example of this. These emerging artificially intelligent systems, coupled with advanced robotics and sensors, are about to replace human beings right across the workforce in numbers that are hard to comprehend. Although estimates vary, approximately 50% of the jobs in advanced economies will be able to be performed by AI by the middle of the 2030s. And as the technologies continue to improve, that number is only set to increase significantly in the decades ahead. These transformations in the workplace are not limited to low-skilled jobs and are completely agnostic to the colour of someone's collar. Radiologists, copywriters, legal secretaries, drivers, graphic designers and artists, computer programmers and even doctors and surgeons are in the firing line as these intelligent systems are rolled out across the economy and take on ever more complex and challenging tasks. This technological revolution will not create more jobs than it destroys, as some techno-optimists may argue, and the tsunami of technological unemployment does not lay far off in the future. It's happening right now, and by the middle of the 2040s, when children born today are about to begin their working life, 75% of today's jobs may have been automated out of existence, with comparatively few new jobs created to replace them. It is not difficult to grasp the incredibly destabilising impact that this surging wave of technological unemployment and the emergence of a vast, permanent and ever-increasing economic underclass could have on society. Increasing inequality, deepening polarisation, Rising crime, social unrest and authoritarian crackdowns seem all but certain if we continue on our current trajectory. But although the scale of these challenges and the pace of these seismic shifts may come as a surprise to many, it has not crept up on those who sit in the boardrooms of global corporations, work in the higher echelons of government, or who congregate at the annual meetings of business leaders and political power brokers at events like the World Economic Forum in Davos, Switzerland. In fact, the impending societal transformation has been obvious to anyone willing to look closely at the trajectory of our technological developments for at least the past two decades. For instance, Jeremy Rifkin's book, The End of Work, published over 25 years ago in 1995, clearly outlined how advances in computing power and the emergence of increasingly intelligent machines would lay waste to entire categories of employment, stating then that 75% of jobs were simple repetitive tasks and therefore extremely vulnerable to automation. Their introduction was hardwired into the dynamics of capitalism and the market system. The only question that remained was how to manage the enormous societal dislocation that would occur as a huge percentage of the population was exiled into permanent economic irrelevance. Armed with such foreknowledge of the transformation ahead, I simply ask you, is it not obvious that those who possess power and influence would have been developing their plans for the future of this radically different world? Of course, these technological developments are not a force of nature, and humanity could collectively choose how they are utilised. These technologies could be deployed in such a way as to benefit all human beings, heralded in an age of abundance, instead of concentrating unimaginable wealth and power in the hands of those who win the AI arms race. The enormous productive capacities of these technologies could be shared more evenly amongst humanity instead of being hoarded by the few, thus liberating many from dangerous toil and soulless drudgery, finally reducing the length of the working week and freeing us to pursue our passions, indulge our creative impulses and enrich our human connections. But it seems clear that those in positions of power, those who have the most to gain from this technological revolution, have chosen a different path. They have decided to reap all the benefits of the revolution for themselves, 
further consolidating the wealth and power, while simultaneously utilising these new technologies to control the masses as we transition to a workerless post labor world. Artificial intelligence, voice and facial recognition, big data and psychographic profiling, attention harvesting and behavioural modification technologies are all being deployed to surveil and control the ever-increasing masses of humanity that will be excluded from the potential benefits these technologies could bring. In so doing, our new feudal overlords will permanently solidify their position at the pinnacle of the new social hierarchy and simultaneously create a new global totalitarian surveillance state from which there will be no escape. The historical confluence of an approaching tsunami of technological unemployment coupled with the simultaneous development of technologies that can automatically surveil, manipulate and control billions of people, is a major reason, although not the only reason, why this dystopian techno totalitarian control system is being rolled out at this particular moment in time. AI automation and the post-labor world is an extremely important topic we will return to later, for it has implications that go far deeper and are far more disturbing than the technological unemployment and the ubiquitous surveillance described here. But for now, let's move on.